Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make sausage brages. So I'm going to be making Dutch sausage rolls. In this bowl here, I have one pound of extra lean ground beef and I have one pound of pork. I prefer to use a lean stuff so it's not too greasy and seeps out of the sausage roll. Okay, and then here I have Worcestershire sauce. I will put everything in the description too so you know exactly what to use, but this is one tablespoon. And I'm going to pour that right into the meat mixture because this is how we're going to get started. Oh, and I'm also going to use frozen puff pastry. Um, you can make your own if you want, <laughs> but I don't have all the time in the world. And I'm going to make this and it tastes just as good. Okay, let's not lie. All right, and here I have some salt. So I have a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I have half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I have half a cup of panko crumbs. And we like things a little bit spicy in our house. This is optional, you don't have to use this, but it is the garlic chili sauce. It gives it a really lovely flavor. What is it by, Red Rooster? There you go, and I'm gonna use a little bit of this in it too. Okay, let's go with one small tablespoon. There we go. And all you have to do now is you have to mix and combine the ingredients. Very easy, very simple, very quick, super delicious. Okay, and when this is all mixed up, I'm just gonna place it in the fridge to cool off again, because it's been sitting out just for a minute, and it'll be easier to form to fit into the pastry. All right, and we'll see you when that's all done. Okay, so we're ready for the next step. I have my two sheets of frozen puff pastry uh, rolled out and cut. I've cut it into six squares on each one. Sorry, that is my ice machine that you just heard. And the sausage meat is right here and I am preheating my oven to 375. All right, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take an amount of meat in your hand and we're gonna roll it out kind of like a log. Okay, just like a log. There we go. And we're gonna just break it down so it fits. And we're gonna stick it about there. Okay, and we're gonna do that with all of them. Do you see that? And we're gonna do that with all of them and then we're gonna come back. I'll be right back. Okay, so my first two pastries are done. Um, this one here makes 12, but the mixture makes 24. So if you don't wanna make that many, just cut the recipe in half, but I plan on freezing them um, and they'll last up to six weeks in the freezer. Just pull one out, stick it in the microwave and you're good to go. All right, so the next step after you have them all laid out like this is you're gonna take some water and you're just gonna go on the edge where you're gonna fold it over, okay? Make sure it's wet. You're gonna take this half, there you go, fold it over and connect it. Make sure you squish it in there Take your fork and press it down. Next step, we're gonna cut a couple of slits in there for cooking so the air can escape. Easy? How easy is that? Let's do another one. Let's turn it so you can see. So we're gonna take some more water. You're gonna go across the edge. Make sure it's damp. Take up this half, fold it over the meat. Press it down so it connects. Use your fork, squish it together. That's where you get that nice crimping from, is from your fork, okay? And it also holds it together. Take your knife, cut in a couple heat vents, and that's it. All right, so now we're going to take it and we're gonna transfer it onto my cooking sheet right here. And we're gonna do that with the rest of them. So they're all done, they're on my tray, okay? Now the last thing you need to do is, in this bowl, I have a couple tablespoons of milk and one beaten egg, and we're gonna wash the pastries, okay? That's gonna give it a gorgeous color. And then we're gonna throw them right into the oven. And we'll come back after I show you what they look like when they're all done. 
I'll also tell you exactly how long it takes too. All right, so we'll see you then. And 40 minutes in the oven in the middle rack at 375 and they're done. So let's cut one open and see how it looks. Which one should we cut open? Let's go with, let's do this one. Nice and crispy. There you go. Dutch sausage rolls. Thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm going to take a bite right now. I don't care that they're hot. Mmm, so good. Have a great day.